Do you want to sit in my lap? It's not fun for five-year-old Bryce. All right, Bryce, we're going to peel this off. He comes here every week. He's nervous about today. For checks on the chemo he's taking for leukemia. It actually started off with a rash. We noticed him being very pale, not wanting to eat, extremely tired. On December 29th, he woke up and couldn't walk. All right, swishy woo, you want to get in your bag? Go. Swoosh is a toy Pomeranian. I got him when he was eight weeks old. He's now seven years old. He weighs 10 pounds. Every week, Swoosh spends 15 minutes with Bryce in a private room. All right, Bryce, you ready to see Swoosh? Get him, Swooshy. There we go. <laughs> is that what you wanted? Yeah. <laughs> they are part of a study to determine if dogs can help children relax during hospital visits. It is the toughest journey that many families go through. Where's the kitty, Swoosh? Where's the kitty? And we're trying to decrease the, the stress and the anxiety and increase the quality of life for, for children from the time they're diagnosed with cancer throughout treatment. The study includes children from 3 to 17 years old. Researchers measure Bryce's blood pressure and pulse before and after his time with Swoosh. Do you feel very scared? Scared or not scared? Not scared at all. And Bryce answers questions. You gotta do your swab. Researchers are also testing Swoosh's saliva, checking for distress. How are you? Good. Feeling well? For Bryce, the cancer fight continues. He's our hero. He, he's our inspiration. I don't know how he does it, you know. He's amazing. The official results aren't in yet, but Bryce's mom believes Swoosh is helping her son. It's incredible what, what animals can do for kids. That's his purpose for these kids, to just bring a little bit of peace to them in a really hard time for them. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer.